everyone, it's Lauren. Today we are talking about the dreaded resume. If you are watching this and you are in high school, it is time to put together that resume. If you're in college, you better have a resume. And if you're graduating college or just graduated, you have to remember to keep that resume updated again and again and again. You wanna make sure that it's always up to date. That way if an employer asks for that resume, you always have something to send them. You don't wanna delay there. If someone says, send me a resume, you wanna be able to send it to them that night, okay? If anyone has heard me speak at colleges around the US, you've heard me tell my story about how I impressed my very first internship coordinator by sending over my resume the night she asked for it. And because of that, I showed I was serious and passionate about the position and I ended up landing the interview that got me the internship. So when people ask for your resume, you're sending it right away. All right, so let's get into it. What does that uh, resume need to have? A couple things. So first of all, the content. The content has to be relevant to the employer. You don't wanna send the same resume to every single job that you're applying for. Again, we've talked about this. You gotta make that employer feel special. So all of the information should be relevant and tailored to the position that you're applying for. I do have a sneaky tip for this. You wanna print out the job listing or the internship listing, and then you wanna have your resume. You wanna connect the dots, okay? If that job description says they're looking for someone who's social media savvy, then you go over to your resume, and your resume better say something about how you're social media savvy. It should use words like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, okay? So again, you're connecting the dots and you're making sure that your resume includes relevant information that the employer is looking for. I know these days it's cool to have a cool resume. People have colors and fonts and different formats and all these crazy things that's on you know different colors and different colored paper. Now, here's what you should think about. If I'm an employer and I have 200 students that have applied to an internship, even if I'm looking at the best resumes on the planet, if they're all white or off-white pieces of paper and they all have a very traditional format, what do I do? None of them stand out to me. Now, recently, I went through about 200 resumes that we were helping an employer staff up for a position, and I personally experienced this problem of, oh my goodness, I have 100 resumes in my hand, and they all look the same. You guys, I was exhausted looking through these resumes. By the end of it, I was looking for anything, anything that stood out. So when someone incorporated like a second color, maybe a blue with their black ink or a red or a pink or a purple, I was like, hallelujah, this is great. Finally, something that is different. I mean, I was, I was falling asleep looking at all these resumes. So think of it that way. If an employer is looking at 800 different resumes, how is yours going to stand out? So I do suggest that you incorporate a different font, a different color, maybe you format your resume in a unique way. Do something different so that it stands out for the employer. A lot of people say to me, well, what do I do? I can't put together a resume because I have no experience. That cannot be true. If you think you have no experience, then you start going fishing, right? And then you start pulling old information. So if you don't have any relevant internship experience, what else could you do? Well, what about volunteer work? Have you done any volunteer work with your family when you were little growing up? Is that something you can put on your resume? If you don't have that, what about relevant courses, relevant class projects? What classes and what, what are you doing in school that's relevant to the industry or position that you're applying for? This is all stuff that is fair game for your resume. Another frequently asked question we get is, do I still put high school stuff on my resume? I would say that after your sophomore year of college, that's when the high school stuff should start to disappear. If you have one accolade or achievement that makes someone say, wow, put, put it on your resume. If it's that much of a wow factor, just put it on there because clearly it's gonna make you stand out. I hope that was helpful. You can always check our blog, internqueen.com. We'll make sure that we link a lot of our different resume blogs below. And of course, check out All Work No Pay. It'll pop up here. Check out All Work No Pay. And we have tons of resume advice and samples there. Thanks so much.